Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 3. This is a set of puzzles that was all created by a single creator um, from the Czech Republic. This is a puzzle by Jakub Androsek. Um, and again, I apologize for the bad pronunciation of that name. This is a 26 point quadruple puzzles. And I actually did some checking and I could not find a quadruple puzzle from before this. Now the quadruple puzzle in the book, um, if you go check, does not look anything like this. This um, I've recreated this puzzle to look like we make quadruples look like now but the original puzzle just literally just had four numbers um in a line so you would just have like here you would just have one three five eight written in a line in this intersection um it didn't look anything like this but i was unable to find any quadruple puzzle older than this I'm not saying this was the first quadruple puzzle, but I looked through the World Puzzle Federation archive and I looked through other blogs and stuff um, and I did a Google search and everything. And this is the oldest quadruple puzzle I could find, which for a constraint that I absolutely love, I cool. Um, as I said, do not know. I'm probably wrong, but fun to fun to see anyway um so of course there'll be a link to this puzzle below as well as to the entire world puzzle federation archive i said this is a 26 point puzzle if you're interested in how the points work check out the first video in this series um the world puzzle federation 2016 round three classic sudoku one is where i went into the description um let's uh have a look at the rules we've got normal sudoku rules apply so into every box into every row and into every column the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition and then at some intersection of two crossing lines, so it, for example, at the intersection of the crossing lines between these four cells, a set of four numbers is given. These numbers must be placed in the four adjacent cells. So for example, two, three, six, and seven must be placed here. One, three, five, eight must be placed in those cells. Three, four, five, and seven must be placed in those cells. That's how it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So these must be two, three, six, and seven. So if these are two, three, six, and seven, and I don't really need to pencil mark that, but this can't be one, four, or five. So that must be the two. And that means these must be the one, the four, and the five. But I can't put a two, a six, or a nine here. So this must be the one. These can't be the one. These must be two, six, and nine. But in this quadruple, this can't be the one, the four, and the eight that has to go here. So this is the nine, meaning neither of these are nine, because these have to be four different. These then become the one, the four, and the eight. But in here... <laughs> The only digit overlapping here means this is the eight and these aren't the eight. So these are two, six, seven, and I can just working down the grid. Now, there must be two sixes here. This can't be one or nine, so that's the six. There must be a second six here, which must go here, and these become one and nine. There's no six in those. This is nice opening. These are now four, eight, and nine. And then must I can't put one five seven there, so that becomes the nine. There's no nine here, and these become one five and seven. That's a really nice. So I haven't used any real tricks yet. So one two three four five six seven. These are eight and nine. I haven't really used any quadruple tricks. One two three four five six seven eight nine. So these are three and five. There'll be something to use. So these are one, four, five, nine, but this has to be either one, seven or eight. So it's the one and there's no one in there. Um, so now these are the two eights because I have to put two eights around this. This becomes the seven. I now need to put two fives around there, which must go there. So this becomes the four It makes this the three and this the five. The four looks up making that the one and that the four. This is insane. Maybe we're finding this easy because I've done a lot of quadruple puzzles in the past, and this is a, was at the time a new concept. The eight looks up making this the nine and this the eight. Um, these are six, seven, and eight. There's no eight in either of those. That's the eight. So one, two, three, four, five, two, six, and seven. So these are two, six, and seven which makes sense. So what are these? Well, they're not one, they're not two, they're not three. These are four, well, there must be a four, which is there. Five, six, seven, eight, this is a nine. So 
So these are three, five, and seven. That can't be the seven because the seven is over here. The seven is in one of those two. That can't be a five because there's no five around here. Five is in one of those two. Well, what's this? This is three, five, six, and eight. And this, so this can't be a five or a, an eight because there's no five or eight around this quadruple. So this is three or six. There's no eight in either of those. So that's the eight. I'm trying to do this without using any real, um, any of the the uh, standard um, tricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two and three. I may not be able to, I may need to fall back on some of the tricks that we all know and love. So five means this is the three. So this is the seven, this is the five. The three takes the three out of there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, two, three, six. So these are two, three, six must contain a three. There's no two there. That's three or six. In fact, this is now the one, which means this is the nine. This is the one. So one, two, four, five, two, four, seven. These are two, four, and seven. So that's a two, four, seven triple. So there's no nine here or four. That's a five, taking five out of there. These are four and nine, taking four out of there. This is a two, seven. So this is three, five, or six. And it can't be five. So this is three or six. I reckon I'm doing this wrong, but I'm really curious to see how far I can get. The six, seven is looking at making that the two, that the seven, that the two, which takes two out of those. These become four, seven, which are, yep, that makes sense. One, two, eight, nine. These are two, eight, and nine. Well, I can't put a two or a nine there, so that's the eight. These are two, nine. So one, two, this is a three now, which means that's the two, that's the three. The eight looks across making that the four, that the eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is a four. The three, six makes that the five. So there's no five there. The five looks down saying there's no five there. Five is in one of those. The four makes that the seven and that the four. The seven looks down making that the one, taking one out of those. This is a five, seven with the five looking across, making that the seven and that the five. The seven looks back making that the six and that the seven. The nine looks across making that the two and that the nine. This is the nine that hasn't been placed. This row is missing its one and its three, and the one makes that the three and that the one. This box is missing two, four, and six. The four comes out of there. Two comes out of there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are two and eight. The eight means that's the two and that's the eight. There's no two there. That's a three, six. So that's the two. No two there. So one, two, three, four, one and five go in with the five making that the one and that the five. Could have finished it with the quadruple. Got distracted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the nine. So there's no one here yet. Three is in one of those two, but that three is looking up saying it's not there. That's the three. Okay. Where's nine in this column? Nine and nine puts nine in one of those, but it's not there. So that's the nine, that's the four taking four out of there. The two six pair makes that the four. So this has to be six or seven for the column. This is two, six or seven, right. So this is two, six or seven for this column. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is two, six or seven for the column, meaning both of those are three because the two, six or seven looks across and the two, six, seven in the box makes both of those, not that one, those three. 
that's six, that's three, that's six. Could have used the quadruple, got distracted. So let's look at quadruples. What have I missed? Right, I can't have two twos around that quadruple. That's the six, that's the seven, that's the two. Looking down, making that the six and that the two. The six looks up, making that the seven and that the six, making that the six and that the seven. And this is wrong because I just pencil marked that wrong. The six makes that seven and that six. I just did a wrong pencil mark at the end while I was like, I'm getting cocky. <laughs> I think it's time for me to take a break. I've been at the computer a little too long today, but that was fun. Um, yeah, just a dumb pencil mark at the end, but a good fun eight minute puzzle. Uh, 26 points, that's probably about right. Maybe a bit slow, probably should have done it in four minutes. Don't care. Hopefully you did it in a time that you're happy with. And as long as you're happy with your time, I'm happy that you did well. Thanks everyone for watching. Had a lot of fun as always. Good luck with your solving.